pretty stoked on Poland so far. I think, like our accommodations have been good. The track looks good, way better than we thought it was gonna be. I think uh, everybody was a bit worried. Fresh venue, social media did not portray it in a really positive light. Poland's sick, food is cheap, people are friendly. We got a lot of vodka already here, so should be a good after party. We generally try to start wherever somebody left off. That's the last thing they were familiar with, so you get back on a familiar vehicle and then work from there. And really track to track, changes aren't huge, they're always small, or they should be small. Coming from Fort William, I changed to a bit more compression on the fork. I think I was a bit too much on the air side, on the fork. It was a bit, I don't know, it went through the travel too much. And now we added a little bit of compression, high speed and low speed. And I think it's just, yeah, more supple all the way through. Any good mechanic is gonna have settings from however long they've been with that rider. Hi, I'm Ben Lovell and I'm Andreas Kolb's mechanic. Quite a difference from Fort William. Forks, we're running sort of mid 90s. We vary around in that window. Uh, six volume spacers quite open on the compression. Um, Andy likes to sort of control his fork on the spring. And then he's actually slowed down his high speed rebound a little bit recently and sped up his, sorry, slow, slowed down his high speed and sped up his low speed um, just to try and get a bit more front wheel control. You're trying to control the velocity at which the wheel is moving up or down. Uh, you have obstacles that are far greater than the amount of travel that the bike has. So you have to manage those obstacles by balancing springs and damping to slow the wheel down as much as you can without making things harsh or losing traction. I think coming from Fort William, my goal in Fort William was to get a top 10 and I got ninth. So I was happy with it. I wasn't stoked, of course, but I think for this race, it's a bit more my kind of riding style, I think. A lot of line options, a bit slower, a bit more like tech riding. So I think the goal is podium for sure. But I also think I'm capable to take the win here. Honestly, I don't think it is that different. Um, other than Fort William being really long and mostly rock, the like the gradient's very similar and the the types of impacts are gonna be really similar. There's a lot of that weird kind of plopping drop, like abrupt transitions. <laughs> Put some air on the forks this morning. We do this pretty much every run. Uh, we're starting off fairly high with the pressures because there's going to be some holes. We've just seen some videos of the track and she's pretty blur now. So, first run, Andy. Suspension setup. How are we going to, what are we doing for the first run? Um, I tried some stuff at home in Schlappning, just uh, a bit more compression. Uh, let's see how, how it feels on this track. And yeah, just give me a little bit more support. I think that will be. Big holes on track, so yeah, that's it. So Andy's just come down from his first run. Um, you can see he's pretty much in the right ballpark. He had a bit of a moment on a front wheel case and a T-bone with Charlie. So um, we've got a bit of space to go, so we'll probably leave the pressures as they are for now. What's that noise, Benny boy? Train. Sun was nice while it lasted in Poland, but I guess. At the minute, can't tell if it's going to be good or bad. Yeah, boy. Thanks for the off.
Hi Geordie, if people don't get anything interesting with their suspension today. Interesting or productive? Mm. The two very different things. Yeah, he was about to change and then the rain went. He went, well, I won't be able to feel it now, so I'm going to go back up on what I'm used to and then maybe we'll come back down. That's the problem with the rain. Yeah. He's like, but I want, he was like, I really want to try that. I really want to try the CX4. But he's like, I won't be able to feel it now. But maybe. I don't know, maybe he would if it's going to be that slick. I think, well, I think he just wants to compare. He's like, oh, yeah, if yeah. I go from like that, that to that, I won't actually know what happened. Yeah. Where we don't he want to be run. interesting, we want to be productive. Yeah. yeah. We're interesting enough, you see. Why were we one? <laughs> Throw it on the lens. Let me just take this off your lens. Oh no way. <laughs> that was the bridge on the end, the very last one before you drop onto the finished bridge, yeah? Like, I hold onto it and I perfectly hit it. BAM! What an art of He used it all. Maybe a little bit more than all as well up there. So, um. But he said he hit a massive hole off the last drop, so I think if he avoids that, we'll probably be about the right pressure. Awesome. Unfortunately for Fox this week, I thought there was going to be quite a lot going on, and the weather has provided us some mixed conditions. It's going to be real claggy now, which is just going to be mission keeping the mud off the bike, keeping the weight off the bike. But it's just going to be really hard to tell the difference between the two tunes of the shocks that we're going to go we were thinking of changing to. So um, this might even be something that we change tomorrow if it goes back to being dry or stays consistent. But currently it's changing every single lap so we're not going to be able to tell the difference between the two. You said I'm not looking cool when I'm wearing here so that's why I changed. Is it? I you look like an absolute clown. Thank you for hiking with your cousin Bill. Thank you Bill. We've got to hike the bike See this thing? Now. Follow me. In the bin. I hate my friends. <laughs> I'm just updating my book from his last run, what he set, went up on his settings with, just so we have like a, we can track what he's doing. So I know, I don't know, might never come back to it, but kind of know that now I know what he's running in the wet, it's just so it makes life easier for me, tracking what he's up to. So here I'm going to change, what I've done is, all we changed was his fork pressure on the suspension, and we went on to different tyre, and that was it. Here we go again. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap, clap. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap, clap. Zigzag across the floor, shuffling in Niagara. No one else knows the words. Hiking is my passion. Hiking is sick. That's awesome. Show boys. See you later. Bye. Bye, driver. Bye, If it's going to be dry the rest of the week, today was a waste of time. And I think a few riders approached it that way and that they were just like, nothing good's going to come out of this. The track's going to change substantially in the next couple of days, whether it rains or not. You can always argue about that. A lot of people said like, why are you going back up? It's going to be dry tomorrow. But on the other note, there's so many days we had in the past, we thought it's going to be dry and then suddenly it rains down in finals and you don't know what to expect. And now, we pretty much know how the track is going to be if it rains before finals. Now we had like two different um, practice sessions today. Super dust in the morning, which was really sick, and super wet in the afternoon, which was also sick. So, yeah. good day, good day. I haven't worked with Jordi a lot yet. Last year, testing in Portugal was really good. He knows the way I ride and the way I like the bike. So, yeah, I think when I'm struggling, I definitely go over to Jordi and he's helping me out. Like the settings on the fork now, he helped me. Uh, he actually texted me from Schladming last week and we went through some fork stuff and he's, I think he's really happy with that. So now we're gonna move on to a slightly different shock if it stays dry tomorrow. 
if it wet, rains again tomorrow, then I think we're just gonna leave it alone and let him be comfortable on what he's with. Yeah, I think the new format with moving semis, I personally don't like it. I think it just crams everything in. Everybody seems to be kind of in a rush and you don't really get the same time to set up and, and learn things. You're always just kind of focused on getting going, getting stuff ready for the next run. Ten seconds. Yes. Five. Ready call, but as you can see up on the screen, it's seven tenths off for the pace at the uh, fourth intervening time. Yeah, you had a pretty fast school in training yesterday, but very, very well. Back up and uh, keeping it together. What will it be for Andy? They always do that though, like you change it and they're like, yeah, it's good, yeah, yeah. and then it's not good. Yeah. Comes over the line in fourth place right now. Fourth and deep. It's not bad. Huh? If it rains tomorrow. After finishing the season, finally, that team is looking really good at football. Yeah, I started off really good. I think I was second at the first split, which is sick, but um. There's like an inside line which broke away and I nearly pinned it there, I nearly crashed. Um, and then I was a bit like too much in the comfort zone afterwards. Sitting there waiting for your run and they didn't show it. Didn't show it? No. Oh, I had a moment down there. I fully unclipped, like I wanted to pull with my leg. My foot just did this. I thought I was going to go down hard. But it's close times though. Really close. Every run is different. You try something and the bike was different anyway. Yeah, I think leave it. At least you know what the bike's doing. Yeah. Good. Times are close now. Same. He, he said he risked his life in a corner and it was scary. I think. Something like that. Maybe Austrian. Something, something, something. Moment. He's going to walk this track now and find some seconds. I think he only needs two seconds. But I think all in all it was a good run. I pushed again, which I didn't do in qualies really. And bike felt sick. But the only thing is like I'm still carrying a cold since five weeks now or something. And on the bottom when you need to pedal my throat is like getting tight and yeah I struggle a little bit but I think tomorrow when the adrenaline kicks in it should be good. That was a good, good race. Like, it's good when it's, well, obviously it's good when we win, but that's beside the point as well. Like, that was good racing. It was, every different brand was up there for the win. And like, Machine's run in the beginning might have been, I don't know, that might have been one of the most impressive runs of the week. The worst conditions and a phenomenal run. Um, unfortunately, Andy's run was good but not quite there. I think track conditions played a huge part in that too. Like from wet and slippery to optimal to falling apart a little bit to then getting really fast in the end. But uh, I haven't really talked to anybody afterwards so I'd like to see what, uh, what the riders think of that too. I guess we'll do the picture after. <laughs> That's not going to jump the gun here. It was good. I mean, top 10 again, which is sick, but close to the podium again. And I got pushed out of the top 10 from the overall, which annoys me a bit, but yeah. I just need to push harder, I think. But on the other side, I think I wasn't 100% this week, still with my cold, which I had a couple of weeks ago. I'm not feeling too well. 
So I think I should be stoked. But we want more. And Leo Gang is up next. And we're going we hungry, baby. Go for it. Men Junior started in the wet and then it dried by the end. A little bit. And then Elites, I think it was still, it's definitely slippy in places. It really didn't dry out until, I don't know, maybe the last five or 10, where it seemed like it was 95% dry, but still looked like a couple little patches. We did a click, high speed compression on the fork. We added a, just that was the secret. a bit more support. I think it was the secret. Maybe I should have gone for another one that would do the podium. But nah, we're gonna find out in Leo game. We're gonna add one more there, and if we're gonna go on the podium or win, we know it's that click. Now nah, I think the bike was dialed. Cheers to Jordi and the Fox crew. Honestly, Fox is insane. But just the guy on the bike needs to get a bit better, and then we swing him. The Leo gang We've got two weeks to decompress and start fixing little issues, and then start racing again.